In this Star Wars Outlaws news update video, I will be sharing with you some exciting news. Mods are now here for the game, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of them, including this Boba Fett mod, the capabilities we have with mods right now, my plans for mod content on this channel, and what the future of the game looks like. Before we do take a look at all of that though, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future news updates on Star Wars Outlaws. And here's a quick message from my sponsor, Instant Gaming. They have all of the latest games on discount such as Star Wars Outlaws, Space Marine 2 and Dragon Ball. Click the link in the description to enter a giveaway and purchase your games. Firstly, I want to share just how much of a big deal this is for this game because it did not come as a guarantee that we would be getting mods this soon or even ever to be honest because right now no mods have basically been created for the snowdrop engine which is what Star Wars Outlaws is running on, Massive's own in-house engine. They created it for games like The Division and then later on Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and now Star Wars Outlaws. The Division games were always online games, so making mods were never really a possibility there due to the anti-cheat and stuff like that. But when Avatar Frontiers of Pandora came out last year, I thought, oh, maybe this is an opening for modding to happen ahead of Star Wars Outlaws. And ultimately, no one created mods for Avatar, which is a real shame, because it's actually a really fun game, just like Outlaws is. And then there were a ton of people, some bad actors, hoping for mods that would do some really silly things with Star Wars Outlaws on launch. Well, if you knew that the game was running on Snowdrop and not Unreal and stuff like that, you knew that mods were not going to be there day one, and they just weren't. We are now about six weeks after launch, and mods are finally here, but it has taken a little bit of time. And people that only wanted to mod Kay and Nyx out of the game, they don't care about the game anymore, because I don't think they really did in the first place. So you are probably wondering what mods do we actually have for the game and at this moment in time we don't have many and they are kind of primitive. They are mostly asset swaps and a few things that just unlock some restrictions that the game has in it. And again, this is to be expected. This is what happens when new games come out, especially ones that are more harder to mod in terms of the creation of the mods. But actually installing the mods is relatively easy and if people do want a tutorial guide like I've done for pretty much all the other recent Star Wars games, I'll make a video guide so I can show you how to actually install mods. As you can see from the Nexus mod page, the mods are not completely game changing since the mod loader has come out. They remove restrictions like the boundary of maps and give K a shorter hairstyle, things like that. There are a few that are also spoiler related so I'm just covering those at this moment in time because I know not everyone has completed the story so just be aware if you are visiting the mod page, this is your spoiler warning for the mod page. That said, you do have the ability to play as Kira, who is a predominant character in the game that we've seen in all of the marketing assets, so not a spoiler to share this. Also, Boba Fett isn't that far into the story, he's a really minor easter egg really, so that's why I'm comfortable showing this in this video. So overall, so far, we just have a few minor quality of life improvements, which will help photo mode and just enjoying the game on how you want to explore the game. But also you can play as a couple of different characters. You don't have a working jetpack as Boba Fett yet, so you're still going to be reliant on just jumping around. So what's the future look like? Well, it's obviously uncertain because the people creating mods may decide to give up. They lose interest in the game and don't want to create content for it anymore. That's entirely possible, but as we've seen with Star Wars games from Battlefront to Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor and such, there is a much bigger modding community in this sort of Star Wars gaming space and people will always come to help mod the game and evolve modding for games. I'm sure we will be getting some more advanced mods in the future and you're just going to have to sit tight and wait for it before another breakthrough does come about but it does open the door to a lot of possibilities. Of course, Star Wars Outlaws overall is a fun game, and now we've completed it, now we've done all the stuff, and the DLC comes out, stuff like that. For in the future, if you want to change up anything in the game, you're going to be able to do that. You can do a playthrough as a different character and things like that, and it just really does open the door to new possibilities for many years to come, which is great. There is also a possibility that mods may break when a new update is released so we are just about a week away from title update 3 so there is a possibility that 
an update will break mods and modding and updates need to be put out by the modders themselves. That happened with Battlefront 2 every single update. It didn't really happen with Jedi Survivor. I don't think it ever actually did, except for some of the more advanced mods. So just something to keep in mind there. We'll just have to see what the situation is when patch 3 does come out. Now, many people out there watch my content for mods. That's sort of how I grew my channel quite a lot showcasing the best mods and showing them in interesting ways and giving a shout out to the community that are creating new content for the community. And I was very excited about the possibility of doing Star Wars Outlaws mods, but I knew we would be waiting a little bit. And now they are here, I'm obviously going to be making Star Wars Outlaws mod content. Now, what will that entail? Well, of course, I'm doing top five mods of the week. I just need at least five suitable mods to release every single week for it to be a weekly series. I will be doing a first episode soon. I'm not setting the date on it just yet because I want to make sure that all the mods work, things are going well, people know about this, that's why I'm putting this video out first, and then I can drop my first episode, and then we'll go from there. And certain mods I may do specific showcases that really interest me and excite me and I want to dedicate an entire video to. And of course, a modding guide, how to install mods, stuff like that. If people want to see that, I will make a video on that, so let me know down in the comment section below. The future of this game is bright. We are still getting a bunch of patches over the next couple of months, which will improve the game with new quality of life improvements. And of course, the first big DLC, not just paid DLC, but also free DLC as well for all players. And then we'll also be getting a second big DLC next year. So more stuff to come. And I'm sure Ubisoft will be using that AC Shadows marketing budget, or well, a little bit of it at least, now that's been delayed towards Outlaws later this year. So even more people can come out and check out this game. And of course, try out mods. Also, if it isn't obvious by now, mods don't work on console, so this is PC only. And another reason why to get the game on PC, which is cheap using my sponsor, Instant Gaming. Link down below in the description. Let me know down in the comment section below any of your thoughts on anything I've talked about in this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like so you can help support the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss any future news updates on this game. And if you did miss any of my previous videos, click on the playlist on screen right now. And I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.